Welcome to the Chattahoochee Nature Center. My name is Elizabeth and today we're going to be going out on one of the trails to see an area that reminds us of the North Georgia mountains and talking about the animals that call that region home. We're out here on one of our trails now that looks like a lot of the area around our North Georgia mountains looks. And I've brought our friend, little Screech Owl with me. She loves the North Georgia mountain forests and she loves these trees. This is her type of habitat. So we're looking at how she would be happy in these woods. You can see how small she is. She's a Screech Owl and the Screech Owls are the smallest of our Georgia Owls. Also, as you look at her, you can see her coloration. Thinking about the trees in the forest where she likes to live and her ability to hide, what do you notice that helps her to hide in the forest? I bet some of you said her color. She has the beautiful brown, black and white so that she blends in with the tree barks. And this helps her to camouflage. Now she is a nocturnal bird. So when she is sitting up in the trees, quietly waiting, then she uses her sight and her wonderful sense of hearing to help her to detect her prey down on the forest floors at night. Being a raptor, when she spots her prey, she will swoop down and grab them, and then she will bring it back up to the trees so she can eat her dinner. And you may be able to see what she uses as a raptor to be able to get her food. Yes, she has the curved beak of a raptor, and she also has her talons. As small as she is, she still has very sharp talons. So this is why I'm wearing a glove. She's not trying to hurt me, but she still could scratch me with these talons because they are very sharp so that she can catch her prey. As she catches her prey, then she has to be able to take it back up to the tree so that she can eat in peace. And hiding is a very important factor for her. Her size helps her to be able to fit into crevices in the trees and to hide and sleep during the day without being detected. One of the other good adaptations that owls have that help them to catch their prey without being detected is with their wings. Owls have what is called silent flight. So she can swoop down undetected when she is catching her prey. Now as we think about her up in the trees and sleeping during the daytime and then coming out at night, we wonder, what does she like to eat? She's not a large owl. She's rather small, but she loves to eat some moths, crickets, grasshoppers, small little rodents, and maybe frog. This is what her appetite is for and since she is so small. As you look at her, you may be able to see what it is about her that has made her non-releasable and why she is living here with us. Yes, she's missing an eye. Unfortunately, when raptors are hunting, they have their eyes peeled on their prey. They are so focused on getting their prey 
that they do not look at traffic. And she was hit by a car. And as a result, she lost her eyesight. So she has been living with us since 2009. And she is well taken care of. She gets her food every day. She gets regular checkups and is monitored by a vet. So she has a wonderful life here with us, and she is a fantastic ambassador. So what we're going to be looking at is how she compares to the other larger owls that live in Georgia. They all like the woods, but the size determines what they are going to be eating too and along with where they live. Now I said she loves to live in the forest uh, and the mountains have lots of wonderful forests with lots of room, but she has adapted to neighborhood forests also. So you may see her or some of her friends in your neighborhoods or hear them at night. Thanks for joining me.